Hi everyone, welcome. Tonight I have a quick book flip through for you. Um, this is a Christmas present from the Miss Jamie at Jamie's Coloring Love. She also got me a Teagall sharpener to play with my Prismas. So I know I said in my resolutions I was going to do the Happy Mail videos and use them as they came in. But because the end of December has been a little bit hectic, I'm going to do a flip through of this book. And then anybody interested in seeing me color in it, if you could comment down below and then let me know pencil or marker. And that will kind of give me a video to start the beginning of the year with. So I will still be using her Happy Mail and getting a page colored. But that way I just have a little bit of help deciding what I want to do. This is Catherine Benente. Benin? Minka's Journey, a coloring storybook. This is a super cute book. So I've had it on my wish list forever. It is actually a fairly cheap book. Um, I'm not sure how much it's up to now, but it was like four or five dollars when I put it on my wish list. And I never could decide. First of all, I thought it was a smaller book. So I was like, uh, I don't know. I'm not a real huge pocket size person. Um, but I am very excited Jamie grabbed this for me while she could. This is the back side of Minka. You get 32 illustrations, blank pages, detailed lines. Um, you can do it realistically or do your own and relax. So a very cute book. Very glad she grabbed it. I'm kind of disappointed for myself that I waited so long to grab it because it is way cuter than I thought it was going to be. So here's Minka and the flowers. This just tells you her story. This is from 2015, so it is an older book. But we still love our older books as well. And this is what I absolutely adore about this book. So this whole book is double page spreads, which I know not everybody is into, but I am. I love double page spreads. I don't know why, I just do. But they are, except for that one, obviously, so this might have to be a pencil page, but they are blank all the way through to help, you know, you can do marker or pencils. And that's why I asked for suggestions down below. A cute forest scene, little fairy house, little snail. Oh, I'm so excited by this book. <laughs> so many things just run through my mind what I want to do with it and it is so uniquely drawn like the bark on this tree there's a bear with a fish like, so cute the little turtle looks like he's kind of trying to get away from that beaver swans this is a pretty night scene be beautiful purple pink green tealy palette Here is a beach with some boats and some water, cool crab, turtle, underwater. So we're kind of on the journey. We started out in the forest, we've made it to the beach. Now we're underwater with the octopus and the chules, the crown. And I like how she did these little lines through it. I'm not sure why that jumps out to me so much, but it does. I really adore this page. I know I've said this before, but here in Wyoming, where I live, Rendezvous City, we are big on the hot air balloons. We have hot air balloon rallies. We have them at Christmas. We have them at um, the beginning of our fair season. So I really like hot air balloons. Beautiful horses. Now we're on the farm. Now we are in a pumpkin patch on the farm, moving away, and there's, gosh, and there's pear trees, peaches, very cute, apples, it's nice to see something else on trees besides apples, blank page, moving along, <gasps> watermelon, so a fruit page, very cute, very colorful, I really would like to enjoy this one, I have a great color combo palette I would like to try out on some grapes in Prismas. That might be fun to do. Now we are having a tea party, possibly a birthday party, tea party. We have balloons, which makes me think party, but then we have the cake and the tea and the milk, so 
however you wish. These trees will be really fun to do. I'm not sure how I would do the little pluses for the grass, but sure, I will come up with something. Um, these are not perforated pages, they are Amazon paper. I'm actually getting a lot better with Amazon paper. There are a few tips and tricks that work better on Amazon paper, so that is not too huge of a deal for me, learning to love it. Beautiful birds, nice pretty peacock. Little ladybugs. So she is from the tea party to the garden, I'm assuming. And now she must be working her way through the rest of the garden. Now I'm not gonna lie, this page <laughs> will be a lot for me. Flowers, I like flowers, but I'm not, I cannot do repetitive flowers. So this one would take me quite a while. Maybe something I should work on. And now we are out of the garden chasing birds, it looks like. She better be careful chasing this bird because this bird kind of looks like she's got her eye on her. Beautiful tree, I see stars, so again, a beautiful night scene. This could be the moon peeking up, be a beautiful kind of um, light blue to dark blue, pink, purple, blue, however you would like to do your moon rise. <laughs> I want to say sun, well I guess that could also be the sun. I guess I'm thinking moon because mine is staring at me through my window. So that could also be the sun going down with the stars out. This guy is adorable, everybody is sleeping including the kitty, the horses, the dogs, the bunny, the birds we were chasing. Too cute. So everybody is sleeping. Now we are awake, the sun is up, it is morning. When I finally see you, a day's journey feels like a moment. Everybody's dancing, having a blast. There's our kitty, and it looks like she found some kitty friends. Until next time. And then you just have a few blank pages in the back for practice, color palette, trying out the paper, whatever you wish. And that is Minka's Journey, a coloring storybook. I thank you for watching. I hope to see you next video. Please leave down below if you want to see any of these pages colored and if you would prefer a pencil or marker. Helps me out a bunch. Thank you.